Mm. <clears throat> Asante sana. The second issue that we want to raise is about uh, our preparedness for the campaign. We now have less than 20 days to election and uh, we have booked and are preparing for our last major rally on the 6th of August at Nya Stadium. This venue was booked on the 9th of July. We signed a contract with uh, uh, the authority responsible for the stadium on the 12th of uh, July and also uh, received the receipt for the payment on the same day. At that time when we were booking this, there was no other political party that had done a booking. There was no other institution or organization that had done a booking for Nyaya Stadium. Uh, so preparatory work for the invitees is going on uh, for this particular last rally, the major rally where we will be telling Kenyans why we will want them to vote for us on the 9th of, eight, of August. Uh, we've heard that uh, our key opponents have also booked the stadium. We have realized that they have been bending the hands of the Ministry of Sports, forcing them uh, to be given that stadium and to cancel our, 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 uh, to cancel our, our contract. Uh, indeed, we received a cancellation letter, uh, but that is a breach of contract because that has been uh, that consolation letter has been done under duress and we will want the ministry responsible to revert back to the contract that we had agreed on as we continue the preparations. Let Azimio look for another venue. Nairobi is big. Kenya is big. They can be able to take their rally elsewhere because we beat them at this and, and, and we are prepared to uh, do that particular rally just like you've been told that uh, we floored them during the running mate uh, uh, debate. And we will do the same again in the main presidential debate. So even in that last rally, we will prove to them that uh, we are the uh, coalition that is ready to govern Kenya and that is uh, prepared to be able to form the, other gov the next government and to deal with the day-to-day -day issues on the economy, on governance, that the Kenyan citizenry is now confronted with. I thank you.